there, folks. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Back with some cheese league baseball, making sure my recording is all right. And I think it is. Um, yeah, we are back, folks. More cheese league baseball action. Here we have the next game in this uh, set, the seven game set, if it gets to seven games, of the Bree Boomerangs and the Gouda Giants. Of course, the Gouda Giants took the first game in this set. So, um, see so yeah, that. That happened. Um, so we have uh, Charlie Raymond on the bump for the Bree Boomerangs. And then for the power hitting Gouda Giants, we have Phil Quintero. And let's get right into it, folks. Let's watch this fake baseball game. And uh, boom, there we go. Turn up my volume. And yeah, that's that. One minute into it. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you're having a wonderful uh, holiday ish. It's around that holiday time, July Fourth. You know, if you're in the if you're in the states. Um, if you're not, hope you're having a wonderful July Fourth or Fifth or whatever you're watching this. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Quintero on the bump, as I said, in front of the sold out crowd here at Apple Field. Bailey Dakota steps in. Looking for his first hit of the series of the tournament, actually. is That's a foul ball. Quintero. Take a look at him. Four-seamer slider, curveball, changeup in his pitch arsenal. I'm sorry, changeup, forkball. I didn't realize he had the forkball, so changeup, forkball. More of a uh, kind of a well-balanced pitcher as Dakota fouls that one off. And the one, two. And looks at a ball down, crossed up, and specialist are there. So I'm guessing he's a lefty specialist. And Dakota's fighting it off. And that one, ooh, gets away from the catcher. Runs down, though, and that is... He put out, strike out, and put out for the out. All right, this up to Casey Noldy, and I'm getting better, I think, at looking at the uh, at the camera. I think it's only taken a little while. Oldie's 250 so far in the tourney. Of course, only one game. I should have my notes prepared. Oldie does have the sign stealer trait, which we just saw the banging on the trash can there. Does anybody remember banging on the trash can? The hit song by Gub Funny. Ooh, nice diving stop by Fisher over at the hot corner out number two. Banging on the trash can and strumming on a street light. Here is Repo Sawhorse. Where the heck are my notes? We shall find out. I'd like to give you all the scouting report and all these players, as that is a big cut there. Oh, and two in the hole, Sawhorse. Hitting 500 so far. And looks at strike number three. Down he goes. I think they're all the way at the end, are they? Yeah. That, all the way at the end. It's obscene the amount of time and the amount of notes, the amount of stuff that I actually think about and put into this. It's just, uh, it's nuts. All right, Chance, or sorry, Charlie Raymond. Four-seamer slider curveball changeup. Two and one on Todd Ford, who's hitting 250 thus far. It's that one quite well. That's going to curve foul, though. Into the corner. Two and two. K collector activated for Raymond. Not that big of a velocity pitcher, doesn't seem. That one's hit into the gap. Ford going to dig for two. 402 in the alley there. All right, so a stand-up double. And that brings up Lenny Castaneda, who is hitting the hell out of the ball so far, as he did last tournament, 345 last tournament. And actually, that number does not include the uh, finals, which I don't have the stats for, and I should. That's a base hit up the middle. Are they going to send the runner? No way. All right, so runners at the corners. Nick Allen steps in, 333 for him, a homer and an RBI in his one game of the tournament. 
Hardly feels like I've watched these teams a lot more than I have. That one's fouled away one and one. Pretty good speed on first. And that is a base hit, a worm burner base hit. Through the left side, scores the run. There we hear the call of the great Gigantopithecus to signify that a run has scored and intercepts Goldie Cooper. Looking for her first hit. Raymond, obviously not a big velocity pitcher. 91, and eh, might be where she tops off. Maybe 93. Obviously a junk baller. There's ball two and two. As I said that, my phone vibrated really strangely. Down on strike she goes. Cooper having a, a rough outing. She four homers, 15 RBIs, 347 for her last tournament. So I think she'd like to continue that, but uh, not so much. Roman Owens steps in now. 340 for him. And that's a nice little catch by Dakota at third. That brings up Palacios. This is just a hard-hitting lineup. I mean, only a couple of folks, Palacios being one of them, hitting below 300. That's a base hit down in the right field corner. That is probably going to score two. At least gets one home. Here comes the second run, and it's a two-RBI double for Palacios. And the Buda Giants take the early 3-0 lead at the end of my microphone. Of course, this team lost against the Bree Boomerangs in the first uh, ever, kind of. Qualify that. That's gone. That is gone. Villarreal with the monster homer. Yeah, monster. 460-foot shot. It's a pretty big ballpark. First homer, second RBI of the tournament. Five to nothing. The Buda Giants now lead it. Villarreal, what do we have? One homer, seven RBIs in all of his uh, at bats last tournament. So good on him. As I was saying, you know, as that's a strike to Fisher. And a little liner for out number three, but the damage is done here in the bottom of the first. Five runs. Davila going to lead it off here for the Boomerangs. The Boomerangs definitely want to... Uh, they want to take it out on this team. You know, they beat them in the Cheese Cup Championship. They want to do it again, obviously. Nice little changeup there. And again, 82 mile an hour changeup. Okay, he's not really a power pitcher either. Probably in the 90s, mid, like a low 90s. Maybe mid-90s, topping out maybe 94, 95. Sandy Meadows. Sandy Meadows steps in. But, so yeah, they definitely want to, uh, they want to do it again. And the Giants are out for revenge. That one's fouled away. One on one. And there's a ball inside. And Sandy Meadows, 278. Three homers, eight RBIs for her, and that's a base hit. In the last tourney, again, that doesn't include the uh, doesn't include the championship. Lance Richardson, kind of a bench player last time for them. It's his first at bat coming off the bench now. A little worm burner, line hugger, but and again he hits it there, and this could be two, and it is. 3-6-3, inning ending double play. 9-1-2 and two do up for the Gouda Giants. Bottom of the second. Batamachia. Batamachia, yeah. He was one of those players who didn't really hit much in the last tournament. And he hits a base hit? No, no Meadows is there. Ford is one for one with a double. 
Started off the game with a double. Oh. Chipper back to Raymond out number two. And in steps Castanetti's one for one with the single. So I don't know if this makes a difference at all. Okay, at the integrity of my recording, we're good to go. I don't make, know if this makes a difference at all, but uh, that's a base hit right through the wickets. Um, but I did up the uh, my ego in my gameplay. I don't know if that's going to translate or if it does translate at all to the AI gameplay. Um, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see, I suppose. And fouled away. Allen. Swings through that one with the final out of the inning. 7-8-9, bottom third up for the three boomerangs. I was playing a lot of games at their uh, home park in my franchise mode. Home park being Peril Point, and uh, Peril Point's an interesting one. A lot of fields in, a lot of new fields, especially in this game. As that's a base hit up the middle. Uh, a lot of new fields in this game. Short porch on in the right side. Right field. Sometimes kind of leading up into the right center gap. And then just kind of gets cavernous. And out in left field, left center, just, just so cavernous. The only play here is at first. There's a little swinging bunt. Runner does advance, though. BB Buck steps in. Number nine hitter. She yet to register a hit, you know. BB Buck had three homers, nine RBIs, only hit 209 during the last tournament. He had, oh no, okay, thank God. I, say, I thought he had 20 strikeouts. He didn't. He had like nine strikeouts. Still a lot for a small sample size. Popped up. Out number two. And it's up to Dakota, who's 0 for 1. Back to the top of the order as well. There's a strike. I don't really see too much of a fork ball yet. I think that might have been it. That one has popped up, and it's going to be Quintero to take it himself. Out number three. Quintero, I could actually talk about him, but I'm not going to because... I'm going to talk about uh, Charlie Raymond right now. I'd like to see GC pop off here. Instead, she grounds out to Sawhorse, out number one. Raymond, as Owen steps up, 0 for 1 as well. All right, Raymond 2 0 in three starts of 1.93. ERA 1.12 whip with 22 strikeouts. Batters hitting 222 against her in the first tournament. That is popped up the buck in right field out number two. Quickly. Two outs. That brings up Palacios. Kind of settling in a little bit. Looking very tense to start the game. And that's a base hit up the middle. Big five runs given up in the bottom of the first. And Villarreal steps up. Hit the homer in the first inning. 460 foot jack. Bad ball hitter activated. A little swinging bunt here again. Davila and out number three. So exactly, exactly what Raymond wanted. Now let's get back to action here. So, again, I'm playing this game. This is post-update. This may be... I don't know how many games post-update now that I'm, that I'm uh, recording. I don't know, second, maybe? Second post-update? Could definitely tell some of the changes that they've made. Sign Stealer hits that one, a rocket into the gap. 
And he rounds first, going for two. He's going to be in there with this sliding double. So a double lead off the top of the fourth here. He's an oldie. Looks up Sawhorse, who's 0 for 1. Good speed, ah, pretty good speed on the base paths, I suppose. Crossed up, activated. Which is uh, not good. Somebody who can run kind of well on the base pass. Sawhorse in the hole, 1 and 2. And we reset. And that one's fouled away. 1 and 2 again. Hit hard, but I don't think hard enough. And nope, Allen is there. And no chance to tag. Allen has a pretty decent arm. Brings up to Vila. All right, the crowd kind of getting behind Quintero here to put this one away. Runner in scoring position. And that one is not coming back. That is a Jack or Rooney two run shot from Dirk to Villa. Quarter eight foot Jack right down the left field line. And that puts the three boomerangs on the board. Still trail five to two, but I think they're getting to uh, Quintero now. Sadie Meadows steps in. Fouled away. And again, crossed up behind the plate. Two Owens out number two. And then Richardson steps in. Trying to think of who the next game is that I will be recording. So I can prep for it. Don't know if I'm going to be recording it now. As this one has popped sky high, but. Ford is there at number three. I do enjoy doing this. This is a, as I mentioned earlier, a strange, one of my other broadcasts, a strange hobby of mine that has kind of taken over a little bit. Um, one thing that I, I think makes this, this hobby so much fun though, there we go, there's base hit up the middle, and as I just found my notes, the next game that I don't know I'm going to do, but I want to get them prepped. It's about the Machia steps in, who's over one. One cool thing about doing this game is that uh, I didn't realize Vata Machia had sign stealer as well. Um, and that's a Foul ball, one and two, no outs, runner on first. No real threat to run at first. And that's the 52nd pitch there for Raymond, by the way. And there goes Vatamaki. As Ford steps up. The community here that uh, Super Mega Baseball has built um, on Reddit, on the YouTube groups, uh, or YouTube groups, on the Facebook groups, pretty much the only thing. Facebook sends me ads and Super Mega Baseball content. Um, blocked everybody else. And one and two on Ford now. Raymond reels back. And that one rolls back into fair territory. Can they turn two? They can't. They do get the lead runner. Good play at first base. Get that lead runner. As Castaneda steps in. Two for two. But the community has made it great. The community has, you know, has a lot of people that do kind of similar things to me that create teams and just watch them. Create teams and sim leagues constantly. There's out number three. And that's awesome, man. This game has definitely built that. I think it for sure, the pandemic, weirdly enough, for sure helped that. Because that's when I started doing this content, and that's when a lot of people started doing it too. So um, definitely is, is a neat community of people. And you might see me posting in the Reddit thread at some point about this. Actually, I don't know why I have it already. I have everything ready to go. I just have it. All right, here's Jonah Conrad. Quintero still out there on the mound. 67 pitch. It's not as economical as Raymond. Despite Raymond trailing. And the swinging third strike, and they get him. 
Nine steps, BB Buck. A quick two outs here as well for Quintero. So, mention elevated pitch count. So he uh, is gonna definitely want to get a quick inning here. Gives a base hit though. That brings up top of the order in Bailey Dakota. I may have just signed Bailey Dakota on my team in my franchise mode. I'm looking at him. Good speed on the base paths, actually. For the boomerangs, they check on the runner. Is he a pick officer? No, he's a specialist. Interesting. Specialist hasn't really been used too much, I don't think. There's a pretty ready heavy lineup, if I do recall. I wish I had those guys. Ball in the dirt, and he's walked. So good looking from Dakota. That brings up Oldie. And that chases Quintero from the game. That walk and Strudley comes in. Strudley. As that's a foul ball. Got a haircut from Super Mega Baseball 3 to 4. Still has the same luscious locks. One and two, and down on strikes goes Oldie. Very mad at himself. But what can you do? It's just a fake game. A fake baseball. I'm trying to see what his bat said. Did I say Lorna Dune? Like the cookies? Um, Nix Allen steps in now. Gone. Nix Allen tees off on that one. No doubter. And that is a 440 foot jack. Allen's second homer and third RBI of the tournament. And the Buddha Giants get a run back. I wish, I wish Golden Cooper. I wish GC would do that too. All right, giving up that homer has definitely uh, chased Raymond from the game. And I don't recall. Jerry May, I believe, is one of the bonus pitchers that all of these teams got. I don't have a scouting report on him. Just missed that one. Got well under it. That could have been a jack, but instead it's just a very high out. That brings up Roman Owens. And May is definitely one of those uh, pitchers. Four-seamer, two-seamer, and slider. Kind of a no-frills, velocity, junk kind of pitcher. More velocities. Well, it looks like 91. 91. 91 is stopping out. I think that was his two-seamer, though. Not the four-seamer. All right, here's Palacios. Two for two. Double, single, two RBIs. There's enough time for Palacios to get the cycle. If he can just hit a homer and then get a triple. Yeah, do two of the hardest things in baseball. Instead, he's going to... thought he was going to walk on that pitch. Now he walks. Villarreal has a homer already. At some point, I have to put up, so in the back you'll see that is a, a map of where, uh, of all the places that my wife and I have traveled, we, you know, scratch it off, and at some point, I gotta hang up, and that is not a stolen bag. Tried to Villa's arm, but nothing doing there. How about it? Those baseman, number 12. And that brings up Repo Sawhorse to lead it off here. Three, four, and five for the Boomerangs, top of the sixth. But at some point, Kelly also did buy me, uh, she bought me, uh, what's it called? A, uh, same, same kind of map, scratch off of the Major League Baseball stadiums. I haven't been to many of those. I haven't been to many states, and I hope to accomplish them at some point. And that's out number one. I'd love to go see Otani play. 
We want to go see our Tommy Boy. Here's Davila. One for two homer for him today. Very disciplined at the plate, I would say. Dirk Davila. Three and one. And fouled off inside. And right at Allen. A little drop step, a couple of steps in. And brings up Sadie Meadows with two outs. Here in the top of the six. Strudley working away out there. And that's a base hit up the middle. So as is the case so many times this game, two outs and then boom, there's base knock. Lance Richardson now. Also, I wanted to make mention too, posting these videos and I'm only doing one game at a time. When I'm streaming, it's easier to do two at a time. But for videos and for you guys watching this, Hopefully just one game at a time, 30 minutes, whatever. If you're doing the dishes, maybe you're chilling out, winding down for the night, listening to some fake baseball. It's a beautiful thing. One and two now on Richardson. And grounded over to Ford. Across the diamond out number three. To the bottom of the sixth we go. And the bottom third of the order up for the Gouda Giants. You see Gary the Gigantopithecus, their mascot, adorned on their chests. Their beautiful home jerseys, their home pinstripes. Fair ball. And again, man, there's been a couple of those. A couple of swing and bunts today. As Fisher steps in, he's one for two. It's so hot. It's hot as hell. Oh my god, guys, it's so hot here. What's going on? It's got a hole in my ozone layer right above me. 2 0. And that one is fouled away. Ooh, almost back at the camera. 3 and 1. And again, over the camera that time. Alright, works a walk. And it brings up Buck. What the muck yet? So May walks a runner, or walks a batter. Put somebody on first, bought the Maki up. Having a good tourney thus far. Surprise, Sign Stealer's not active as much, except for right there for him. I wonder if it's only fastballs maybe he picks up on, I don't know. It's interesting. Two and two, only maybe certain pitches. Down on strikes, a very high. Very high, very inside pitch. I don't know about that. There's a video circulating on YouTube, folks. On Twitter, actually. I think it's on Twitter. Um, of the robo-ump and how it's been implemented in, I don't know, a collegiate league or something like that. And uh, it's pretty much the batters called out, strike three. And that one's fouled away. And... It's a full count. Batter's called out. Strike three. He looks at the ump. He goes and taps the top of his helmet. The ump taps the top of the helmet, looks behind him at the robot ump. And that's base hit through the left side. Finds out that it is ball four. Calls overturn. Gives the gives the safe sign. Guy walks in first. Took all of like two seconds. And it was the thing of beauty, and I don't know if I like it. Don't know if I want robot umps. As much as I love fake baseball here, as that one sneaks by, what happened there? The runner comes, or yeah, the run comes in, and the runner goes to the third. Don't know what happened there. How did that get by Oldie? All right, Concentrado, and obviously not a save situation for him. Just somebody to kind of settle things down with the last out, and that's exactly what he does. Don't know what happened there. I don't know how that snuck through 
the right side, but it did. They get another run. 7-2, to folks. The Buda Giants lead over the Bree Boomerangs. As Christian Baker's one for two. But yeah, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I, I, I don't know if I like the idea of the you know, the players like the idea of the robot um. That is a base hit. It's actually an extra base hit. It kind of died there at the wall. Got stuck behind the looks like it kind of pinballed under the padding. And that's a leadoff double here, top of the seventh. Three boomerangs. Maybe staging a comeback? Who knows? And a hard hit ball over to Owens. And that's out number one. Runner does move up. Evie Buck slumped in. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. Strudley still working away out there, of course. Trying to finish things off. And that one, ooh, just gets off his glove. And the run scores. And it brings up Bailey Dakota. All right, so runner on first. Good speed on first. And a run comes in, 7-3 to three now. That is jacked. Does that have the distance? No, it doesn't. Off the very top of the wall. Runner's coming home. Into Ford, cut off, and slides in safely. Seven to four now. We got a little bit of a baseball game happening. There's Case and Oldie. Pressure situation for him. He can jack it. He's not yet hit a homer. Did he have a homer? He had three in the last tournament. Chase that one outside. What are you doing? And that's a foul ball. Two and two now. Oh. It's one of those it's one of those pitches that when I play this game, I look at it and I'm like, how did I miss that? How did I miss that and not hit that 900 feet? So with that out, last out, last licks here for the three boomerangs in the top of the seventh. Repo Sawhorse can make something happen. Perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps. Instead, he looks at ball three. Do they give him the green light? Nope. And he walks in four straight balls. Dirk Davila steps in now. All right. This is interesting. Lynch coming in. We've not seen Lynch out of this bullpen yet. But Davila already has a home run today. And he hits that one over to Ford, and that is it. Out number three, ball game over, and the Buda Giants win. And they win the second game of this possible seven-game set. Let's take a look here at the lines, folks. 4-9-0 to 7-11-0. All of the run scoring really happened for the uh, the Giants early in the game, that bottom of the first. Other than that, they probably would have been out hit, but uh, it is what it is. Two walks, four strikeouts on the boomerang side. Of course, Davila had a homer, and uh, Meadows had a good day. Conrad really not doing much of anything. And just a couple of hits up and down this lineup. Two walks, five strikeouts for the Giants. Good day. Man, top of the order really knocked it out of the park today. Ford, two for four. Castaneda, three for four. Allen, two for four. The homer. Homer also from Villarreal. Just a good performance overall from them. So, Raymond takes the loss. Quintero gets the no decision. Strudley does get the win. That's nice. Lynch picks up the save. Top three. Allen, Palacios, and Villarreal. Three Gouda Giants. And that is how the second game of this, again, potential seven-game set goes with the Gouda Giants taking the early 2-0 lead. So, interesting stuff, folks. Interesting stuff. But that is it for me right now. And uh, I will check you guys next time. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, all that stuff that you're supposed to do here on YouTube that I always forget to tell you to do. Um, but yeah. 
subscribe, share, follow us on Twitter, geek underscore cheese. You see all this stuff down at the bottom of the screen. Twitch, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but yeah, we'll check you out next time uh, for some, uh, let's see, Pepper Jack Pipers in the Asiago Aeroplanes. Uh, that's it for me. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.